money. Buddy, I got your money. It's right here. Oh, good. But Charlie, you're we're losing your belt. Wait, Charlie, hey. I can't hear what you're saying. Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno, where courage is stronger than steel. And Hugh Jackman's going to be telling us all about it at the UK premiere of Real Steel. What was it like as a boxer? Charlie was the top contender number two in the world. Then the fight game changed. So, Real Steel, uh, what endeared you to the story? Uh, the story at its core is a father-son story that, you know, Charlie, you Jackman, not particularly a good father, not particularly a good guy, you know, on a losing streak and been one on his whole life. And then through this little odyssey of the, the son that he knew that he had, that never really was with him, he, he learns to love his son, the son loves his father, and the, uh, around this wonderful robot boxing, which is pretty great. And so there's really at the center of it is heart, isn't it really? The, the core of it is heart, but we have really violent, really terrific boxing sequences and these robots go after each other pretty pretty good so it's 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 an edgy movie with heart which is very rare i think so and i think uh you know it, the audience will have to decide whether that all works i think it does and you've got, got obviously great casting with Hugh, but did that help because he is a father, you choosing an actor that is already a parent? Yes, we chose Hugh because he's so charismatic and, and he's the lovable rogue. So even though in the movie he starts out and he's not particularly a great guy, he's charming. So you still love him in spite of his flaws. And then as the movie goes on, he, he starts to make the right choices and you even love him more. I think if you had another actor who everybody doesn't have, it, that doesn't have the same vulnerability, uh, then uh, it wouldn't work as well. So he's the perfect choice. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I'm either coming with you or you're fishing for your keys in the sewer. Oh yeah. my God, that was close. Stop. Whoa. Stubborn kid. The robots in the film, they're, what, I, what strikes me is that they feel very tactile. Is, is that, would I be correct in yes, saying that? Yes, we, we actually had many of the robots built and they exist and they're just a little bit taller than humans and they move and their eyes light, light up and stuff like that because we wanted to have them grounded in as much reality as we possibly could create. And, so, um, I'm sorry, and with relation to the, the, the boxers, did you use any kind of characteristics of some of our more iconic boxers and, and, and try and integrate all, all them? All of the boxing was, chore was, was choreographed by Sugar Ray Leonard. So he's a, you know, one of the best fighters that's still alive. He, every fight was a fight that he put together and choreographed. And, and what was it that, that particularly endeared you to want to be a part of the project and invest your time and your efforts into well, it? Well, we are big Twilight Zone fans and we absolutely fell in love with the short story and the Twilight Zone episode with Lee Marvin. And so we optioned the, the film rights for the short story almost seven years ago. And we, it took quite some time to set it up. Eventually we set it up with DreamWorks and then it took this length of time through development to actually see it to fruition and we couldn't be more delighted with the way it's turned out. What are we looking for? Anything I could use to put a fighting robot together. I think there's a whole robot in there. I've never seen anything like it before. Can we get him a fight? He's a sparring bot, built to take a lot of hits, but never dishing out any real punishment. His name is Adam. So can you tell me what was it that connected you to the script the first time you, you read it, please? Yeah, I think when I first read the script, I saw the possibility of making a movie like the kind I loved growing up, a movie like the Rocky series where there's great action, but you're also really engaged in a rousing way. And so I wanted to see if we could combine those elements. And, and having uh, Hugh being a stage actor as well as a, as a film actor, did that give you uh, an extra boost really because he's used to the live performing? Yeah, I mean the truth is Hugh is such a, I mean he's almost in a class of his own because he's a big movie star but he's an actor's actor and so it was just, uh, not just because he's standing next to me and he could beat me up, but it was a dream collaboration. And shooting chronologically, whether you shot it chronologically. We didn't shoot chronologically, and it's interesting because uh, the boy, Dakota, got so much more comfortable as the movie went on uh, that we, it was fascinating because we didn't shoot chronologically, but watching this young actor get more and more comfortable was a fascinating evolution. 
know you're bringing him home in pieces, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's smaller and weaker. He's gonna get his ass kicked. I need you to teach you in a box. Are you kidding me? You know this fight game inside and out. He needs your moves, your commands. Uh, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. The parallels between boxing and acting, is it about, about being in the moment? Of course, it's about being able to be cool under pressure. Uh, acting is really about putting yourself out there and so is boxing because you know you either win or you're on the mat. And also acting with Dakota, what was that like? Because children have no inhibitions, does that free you up creatively as well? Absolutely and Dakota himself has got an old soul to him. He's got older brothers so he's kind of a bit more mature than his years and he's just really, it's, he's at ease. It was so great working with him. What was it just about uh, Charlie that you connected with that resonated with you? I really am touched by those kind of characters. He's had a he's had a few bad breaks at the wrong time, and I think all of us can kind of end up on the wrong side of life, you know, just like that. And he sort of has lost belief in himself in the world, and his son gives it back to him. And I know I've done all kinds of wrong by this kid. I'd just like to do one thing right. Great fight, fellas. Remember this name, Adam. Adam. This spot is one to watch. I never thought it would come to this. <laughs> cool, man. I don't know how many people can carry off this African word, but if you really look at someone who will. The trick is to always feel fabulous and know what works for you. And girlfriend, if you've got it, you're going to work it, work it, work it. <laughs> What more can I say? I think I've just pulled a robot. That's as good as it gets. I'm Claire Bueno and you're watching Premier Scene. Can we? We'll see. You smell kind of pretty. Wanna smell me? <laughs>